If you work in an office or maybe a workshop, you live in a home, you have kids or own a pet, basically anybody watching this video. What I have in my hands right here, I think you're gonna think it's, well, real nice like. What's up everybody? My name's Clint, welcome to the Tool Review Zone channel. Now I got something here, it's not the first of its kind, it won't be the last of its kind, but I guarantee if you get your hands on this, you're gonna think it's, well, real nice like. Now, the thing that I have in my hand is made by a tool company named Cobalt, and they're sold at Lowe's. Usually they make impact drivers and multi-tools and hammer drills and all that good stuff. But this right here, well, it's the newest addition to their lineup. You have carpets, you have hardwood floors. You wanna watch this video because everything that you need comes in this kit and it works really, really well. Now, I will tell you straight up, we're gonna get into everything I like. There are a couple things that I don't, but I think overall with everything that I'm gonna show you in this kit, everything that you can use this for around the house, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome tool for you. And I'll be straight out. I like it a lot myself. Let me explain why. Now, if you work in an office setting, you all have one of these. The office pig. Yep, they are vile, nasty, disgusting human beings. They like to make a mess and drive everybody crazy. I like to call them human resources. Or maybe you're at home and you have a couple kids. You kids want a treat? I don't want no stinky cheeses, I want yogurt. Both of them can take your day and drive it straight into the crapper. Both of them equally annoying and frustrating as hell. But that's where this comes in. This is the all new Cobalt Stick Vac, completely 100% cordless. It's battery powered. Now it will come with not one, but two 2AH batteries. 20 volt max right now. Gonna come with the charger. You're actually gonna get a wall hanging base, which is really nice. Haven't set it up yet, but I'll show you how it works. And a few different attachments. So let me show you how this is gonna work right here. This is how it's gonna come out of the box. Now, this is one of the attachments here. I believe it's called a crevice tool and it's gonna allow you to get into those real tight areas. Now I can keep this thing small and tiny if I wanted to, but look how easy this thing goes on and look how easy it is to take off. Probably the easiest I've ever used on any unit ever. Now you will get the extended wand and it works the exact same way. You just simply put that in. And now if I want, I can attach my crevice tool up on top like so and it'll give me extra reach. I also have my brush attachment tool, which is really easy to use. I can extend this out by pushing this button right here, bring it down and then I don't have to worry about the brush and then I can bring this back up and then I can use the brush. This would be real nice life for like cobwebs and hard surfaces, all that good stuff. And then on top of all that, you got your brush attachment right here. And what's nice about this is you can use this on carpet. I'm gonna tell you straight out right now, not gonna be as good as a conventional vacuum. This doesn't have as much suction, but it will work. This really shines though on hardwood floors. Oh, and uh, it says over here that this tool is a uh, brushless tool, but it's not because uh, has brushes. It's funny. Now, of course, I will show you this in use, but let me go over the bin, the release, and how to actually operate this thing. Now, you got a mode selector here. You got three different settings. I want to show you something. I want to show you what they added that their sister company has been letting me down on. Do you see it? They give you a turbo mode. You hear that, Flex? They added the turbo mode. To operate this, all you do is pull the trigger. That's low. I can put it on an auto mode. Now what's nice about the auto mode is if I'm cleaning up something that's a little bit heavier, maybe I got a little extra crummage going on around here, it'll sense that it's not getting enough airflow and it'll pull harder. So it's gonna conserve the battery, but when you need it, it'll actually pull harder. Sounds right. And then you got the sweet, sweet turbo mode. It's running like a beast mode all day and this thing is powerful. Watch. Now here's one of the things I do want to let you know. This is not an automatic trigger like a lot of the ones that I brought to this channel before. You have to constantly compress this. That might not be a big deal for you. I'm just letting you know. There's no way to keep this thing going all the time without pulling that trigger. Now let's take a look at that sweet, sweet canister right here. There's a button up on top. Watch what happens when I hit the button. It's one handed, yo. So what's cool about this, it is super simple. Not only does it open, it tilts itself down. So watch what I do. I'm gonna put this back up. I'm gonna push this button again, watch. And it empties and tilts down automatically. How freaking real nice like is that? Stumping on all kinds of crunchies over here. Now say I needed 
to remove this canister. Really easy to do. All I have to do is push that button. It'll open up and you just unlock it like so and then pull it out. Now on the back side here, you have a replaceable filter if you ever need to change that out or clean it. On the inside of this right here is a metal filter. You can clean this out, rinse it out. You don't have to worry about this ruining. However, this is not a wet vac. It's simply for dry stuff only. You're gonna have the leakage out the side if you use this for a wet vac. And of course you have the rubber door right here. So if you do pull the stuff out, once you set this thing down, it won't let anything back out. Nothing else will fall out. And if you suck up a fly or a bug, well, it's gonna live in here for life, unless you empty it. Now I will tell you that the office pig has left quite a mess in this area right here. Mm, it kills me to do that. Not because of the mess I just made, because I really enjoy these Cheez-Its, not sponsored. And as you can see right here, I had done made quite a mess over here. So let's use the crevice tool first. I'm gonna pull this in, we'll suck up that hairball. <laughs> However, where this thing really shines is, well, the brush attachment. Check this out. Now we're on turbo. Look at this. Now I will tell you, for little crumbs and like those little dust things, this works fantastic. However, it is not the best for those like full size Cheez-Its. If you have very large Cheez-Its, just crunch them up a little bit. Or you can use the crevice tool for the larger items. Now I do want to state again, you can use this on carpet, but I have a dedicated vacuum for my carpets. This isn't gonna work as well. It'll pull up dust, crumbs, but where this really shines and where I use them, hardwood floors, laminate floors, vinyl floors, whatever you call it, works real nice like. I also use this in the really high, hard to reach areas. So if I got spider webs and all that good stuff, I don't have any issues. Now, a couple of the things that I love about this, again, so easy to just take these things off, the attachments and change them out. And another thing that I really like about this is the wall hanger. So you basically, it comes with screws. You just hang that up, throw this up on top. Those snap in, they're not gonna fall out. The one thing they did that was really smart is you can put your charger right up on top like so. See that right there? You can put your spare bat ray right here. Put your crevice tool right there. And then you would hang your tool like such. And that's like a one in all hanging system, which is fantastic. Cause now you don't get the bat rays lying all over the place. You know where everything is when you need it. Probably one of the most well thought out hanging system brackets that I've seen. Real nice like I tell you. But this thing is extremely light and not to mention it is extremely quiet, but it's very powerful. I was impressed with how powerful it was and how quiet it was. A lot of the times you'll get ones that are just really, really loud. It annoys my ears, but this here, they did a really good job. Now again, I do wish that if you pull this trigger there was some way to just hold it in, you don't have to worry about squeezing it all the time. The canister itself, pretty small, but it's around the size that you would get with just about every other vacuum. Portable cordless stick vacuums, that is. The bat ray life, it isn't bad, but what I would suggest, if you're using this and you're already in the Cobalt platform, even though you get two 2AH bat rays, I would have liked to have seen one single 4AH in the kit. And if you have 4AH, I would use those. And all in all, build quality, it feels pretty legit. You got that nice rubber over mold, allows you to hold this, grip it, even if your hands are wet or a uh, a moist. Moist. Ain't gonna slip around on you. I love the ease of the canister. The price, it's, uh, well, again, I'll tag it. I think it's like $249. So you might be saying to yourself, well, I can just get a Dyson or whatever. Pretty sure Dysons are a little bit more expensive. And what's nice about this is that Cobalt has a crazy huge platform. So if you're already in this brand or thinking about getting into this brand, this would be the way to go, in my opinion. But all in all, great little vac. I'll attach this to the video. Just look for that little shopping bag and you can check it out for yourself. But of course, I wanna know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, smash that like button, get subscribed, hit the bell notification. And share this video out with your friends. They're gonna like you a lot more and they could probably use this. Back with more videos soon.